Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the Levulchkin 200, a rank 5, currently 7.7 .7 BR jet fighter for the Russian Air Tech Tree. And this thing in real life was more of an interceptor. Based on the looks of it, you think, wow, this is a really big, hefty aircraft. Kind of resembles the F3D1 uh, in that it has the uh, dual seats here. So as you can see, it's got a pilot and a co-pilot, or rather a co-pilot here, Whatever the case may be, whatever their, their setup is, maybe they're both pilots, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter so much for the purpose of War Thunder. That said, as you could probably see here, yes, it does have two engines. That's right, this is kind of set up like a big, heavy version of the Ariate for the Italian air tech tree. And it makes this thing very fast at 7.7 .7 BR. In fact, actually, you will oftentimes be the first of the fight, even in an up tier. This is a very fast plane, surprisingly nimble, and has a very, very heavy armament of three 37 millimeter cannons with 150 rounds total, which will actually put a lot of lead on target pretty damn well, uh, pretty darn often too. So that said, let's get this flying Goger tube into battle here. I want to see how it does. I mean, I've personally been having a lot of success with it. Three, four, five kill matches pretty commonly, but you know, let's see what we could do in this video. Let's get into it. So as you can see, I literally just took off from the runway and I'm already half a kilometer to almost a full kilometer away from my other allies. This thing is fast, going 400 kilometers per hour, not even at the end of the runway. So just another check-in, I am now seven, six, seven, eight, not, however many kilometers away from pretty much all of my allies. And of course, I did break off a little bit to the side, but as you can see here, they are about half the distance to where I am, which is incredibly impressive. And I'm already getting close to 4,000 meters, going 700 kilometers per hour again. This is fast. So that said, we are getting kind of close to the uh, battle here. So that said, let's get into some strengths and weaknesses of this aircraft. And first and foremost, as I said before, and as I'll probably say again, this thing is built on speed. That is its number one strength. Speed, acceleration, rate of climb, it does it all and does it very well. So in a battle like this, you will typically be able to outclimb and, and really just outperform almost anyone even in an up tier, uh, unless you're facing after burning jets, which even in a full up tier after burning jets aren't all too special, you should be able to actually do quite well. Um, secondly, it has a fantastic armament. Uh, the three 37 millimeter cannons on this are just phenomenal. And if I can actually destroy or hit this guy, you should see a pretty easy kill if I can hit him. And I can't. Because why would I? But another great thing about this is it has really good maneuverability, at least for the size. So, again, I mean, this thing is, even despite its weight, a surprisingly nimble aircraft, especially at higher speeds compared to other, uh, other aircraft. So let's go try to take this guy out. And that's one of the major weaknesses of this aircraft. You can fire on target, but a lot of the time these enemies will simply go straight through where you're firing at. So as you could see with that F-84 and also the SK-60, I was firing on target. Um, you know, there was no reason for me to miss those except for the fact that again, they kind of went right through where my bullets were. The bullet velocity on these really just is not phenomenal, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, I was going to go for that B-29, but this F-80 really wants a piece. But I'm going to probably dive down, get this F-84. He seems low energy, then go for that F-80. And should be able to get, hopefully, two kills. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Again, kind of depends on what these cannons give me. Okay, whoop, pull up. Got two kills. Not too bad. And I got an assist somewhere. Okay, I'll deal with it. That said, let's get into some more gameplay here. That was a really quick match. Gives you a good intro of how this aircraft works, show you the speed, strengths, and weaknesses, and all that. Uh, but let's get a little bit serious in this next match and see what we could do. So I'm not 100% if I am, but I believe I am in a complete up tier. So we've got F9F Cougars. We have the F, I guess, another F9F there. We have some Sabres. 
you guys know the deal. So I'm going to try to slow down, put my air brakes on, chase this guy. Don't want to put my throttle down way too much and should get a kill. Should get a kill. Got a nice wing rip. Should hopefully make him spin out, hit the ground and not have a good day. Got this F86F here. Got the kill. Very nice. And so, like I said, these are very, in my opinion, accurate cannons. Um, but one of the, the bigger problems that I have with them is just their rate of fire. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, for the most part, they're very powerful. I'm actually extremely surprised that that did not just result in a kill right there. But it is what it is. Somehow, he's still alive. Okay, there he is. He's falling down. I'm going to go for the Steve Venom. Nice, big, juicy target. Might want to hmm, go for that meteor behind me. Probably going to go for the Swift instead. And he's trying to head on. Three kills. That's two deaths in a head-on. That's a little annoying. But again, I mean, I'm kind of showing this gameplay in some ways to show the capabilities of it. I mean, of course, it's nice to get three clean kills, no deaths. But it is what it is. And these are pretty quick, quick matches thus far, so I'm kind of impressed. Let's see if we can actually get four kills in the next match. But thus far, not too bad. Two kills, one assist, three kills, no assist, both deaths in both matches. But I like to get down and dirty with my gameplay. And if you're not really going after the enemy at, uh, at its heart and you're not being aggressive, then what's the point of playing? Also, we would just won. But either way, let's get into the next match. The thing with this aircraft is that you will be in a lot of up tiers and a lot of down tiers. It's not really one where you can really guess pretty accurately, if that makes any level of sense. So with this aircraft, specifically i mean it's at 7.7 br there's a lot of 7.0 7.3 br aircraft and there's a lot of 8.3 8.7 br aircraft and not really a ton in between i mean of course there are 8.0 7.7 br aircraft but they're just not as common as um as higher br so ugh, i'm gonna go for this guy hopefully i can get him oh he's got a ripped wing he must have ripped that uh doing some maneuvers Let's see if i can get him this should be about as easy of a kill as, as I can get here. Hopefully. Oh, my game is... <laughs> I don't know if you just saw my, my uh, frames. Woo, that was ugly. Okay. Let's get back up in the air here. That was pretty ugly, but could be worse. Um, hopefully, we should be able to get a nice climb here. And as you can see, I mean, look at my climb rate. I'm not losing an absolute ton of speed. Climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. And then when I even back out, I will gain my speed right back and do pretty damn well. So, got this F-84G. Now, swept back wing planes, especially like the F-84Gs, I got to worry about. Um, you know, like the regular Thunder Jets, I'm not a, you know, don't really worry about them too much. But the faster swept back wing variants, yes. Uh, very much uh, because they can typically outmaneuver you. They have an interceptor or a strike spawn and uh, They will just not be very fun to have to fight because you know if they get any of those HMG shots right into your engine it could set you on fire um, and you have two engines So that really sucks. It's a big risk you fight or face when you're going against them Actually, you know what? The F-84G is not the, uh, the swept back. I think it's the F-84F I'm thinking of. But either way... Come on. Put that air brake on. And pull up. Don't crash. Okay, turn back around. This guy clearly wants... Some of something. Should be able to get him. And yes. Got a nice kill right there. An ugly nice kill, however. Again, not a fan of these engines, really. Or these uh, cannons. At all. But they will do the job when the job needs doing. And this job needs to be done about a month ago. So I'm just going to go get these, uh, these two aircraft here. If I can... And then, should be able to go back, land, and 
get a uh, a nice fresh start on life again. So it looks like we've won this. I got 2,835 points. As you probably noticed, I left in the NPC or the bot kills because of course success is not only measured in air kills, but in how much you help the end or the team win. And that's what this score is all about. Now I said this video is a little bit different than how I kind of anticipated it would be. I got two kills, one assist, three kills, and then two kills and a bunch of ground kills and bot kills in the air. So I did pretty okay. You know, I never want anyone to feel like, you know, especially when they're watching a YouTuber's videos where it's just like, oh, this guy got five kills. Why am I not doing that? I must suck. Success comes in all forms, all shapes, size, whatever. You know, you can be a very successful person in your team and help your team win more than anyone else and not get a single air to air kill i just so happen to really like dogfighting and i feel like i'm pretty decent at it that's why i kind of focus on that in my videos but of course i mean you can use these aircraft however you'd like all these tanks aircraft whatever you know and as long as you're helping your team win that's what matters even if you die so long as you brought a positive contribution to your team's victory that's what matters but ultimately again i just want to provide this gameplay because this is a very interesting vehicle to me but either way thanks so much for watching everyone please of course like comment subscribe you guys know the dealio please let me know what you guys think in the comments below but either way thanks again i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone